Friends, are you patriotic about India? Do you love that this country is going through tremendous transformation? Are you excited about the next 10, 15, 20 years? If the answer to all these questions is a yes, then this video is for you because I am going to tell you about six transitions which are happening around us. And this is the most exciting time of our lives to enjoy and also to gear up for those transitions. Hello everyone, welcome back to CSK Speaks and I am CSK and today we are going to focus on six transitions which are happening around us in this country. Well, before anything, I want to say and confess that I am an absolute patriot. I love my country and it cannot get more exciting than what it is right now to live in India in this century. The amount of opportunities, the amount of developments, and the amount of technological interventions in our life is making our life more meaningful, more comfortable, and more exciting. Well, as they say, for everything, there are pros and cons. In today's video, I am not focusing on the cons of the technology and the advancements and the invention. I am only focusing on the six transitions which are happening around us, and I am focusing purely on all the positive side of it. Now let's begin from what we know to what we don't know. The first transition is something which we know. We know because we are all part of it and we are all making it happen. What is that? The transition from offline to online. You may call it because of pandemic or because of uh, mobile penetration, because of 5G internet and any other reason but the fact of the matter is online to offline or offline to online actually, not online to offline, but offline to online transition is happening. And that's the first transition. Look around. Everything, right from the way we buy things, right from the way we have entertainment, right from the way we consume knowledge, right from the way we transact when it comes to giving money or receiving money, everything has become digital. That is the transition which is happening. Now, in 2022, if this is the kind of lifestyle we are all getting used to, imagine what's going to happen in the next 10 to 15 to maybe 25 years. In next 20 years or so, things are going to be more on the digital platform and not the physical platform. Now, you have two options. You can sit down and complain and say, this was not how it should be and this was not how it used to be or embrace the change and get yourself ready or rather better is to make something out of this transition. The purpose of this video is to tell you that these transitions are happening no matter whether we are ready or not. Now, the question is, what are we going to make of these transitions? So that's the first transition. Now how these things are happening is thanks to ONDC. What is ONDC? The Open Networks for Digital Commerce. Yes, that's a intersection of three people. The ONDC consists of three people. One, the government and the institutions from the government who are trying to bring in digital in our lives. Two, the private market participants like all the private players, you call it from the Flipkarts to Amazon to Swiggy to Zomato, basically entrepreneurs, the private people who are capturing, leveraging the digital intervention in our life and bringing solutions through the click of the button. That's the second piece. And the third piece are the public intellectuals. The public intellectuals, the innovators who are able to be the thought leaders in foreseeing the future. 20, 30, 40 years down the line, what's going to happen and bringing it close. Like for example, you look at cryptocurrencies. 
yes many of us suddenly woke up and said what is this crypto all about what is this bitcoin because it happened so quickly that we didn't even realize but it happened much much earlier than we realized one guy brought a white paper now the question here who's that guy i know you must know the answer and i also know the answer it starts from s and it's a very weird japanese name now if you know the answer the man who brought in or man or women we don't know because that's a name which we know the person who brought in the white paper on cryptocurrency you know the answer pause the video right now and put in the answer in the comment column right so he brought in that or she brought in that and then suddenly cryptos took over now what i am trying to tell you is that is the category of the person the third category who is a thought leader who can look far into the future and bring so the ondc this network for digital commerce is bringing in together and these six transitions are the transitions which will be happening in the next few years so transition number 1 offline to online next transition number 2 transition number 2 is advertisements led internet to transactions based internet or transactions led internet what does that mean i mean when internet came into being and when we all kind of hopped on to the internet bandwagon we were using internet for connecting with people communicating with people and collaborating with people and there because the advertisers saw that okay these are my target audience and they are all now on the internet i will lead my brand to them through advertisements that was what was happening but today the transition has already begun from ads led internet to transactions led internet what does that mean today nobody is going to show you an ad unless and until you are already engaging in a transaction let me give you an example beam upi or even paytm or for that matter you are looking at netflix you are looking at all these other digital things like swiggy or zomato or booking your irctc ticket or air ticket on clear trip these are all transactions right earlier you were sending a mail and you used to see an ad or a pop up window today you don't see an ad coming up but you do a transaction and while you are doing the transaction they keep you on the internet and because you are on the internet for transactions you get into advertising or they show you their products and they display influencer marketing right so that's going to happen more and more so just a banner will no longer exist meaningful connection to your transaction will start coming into your life and that's the next transition which we are seeing in the world today well third one the third one is shopping at stores will now discontinue because the doorstep delivery is going to take over the transition from shopping at stores to doorstep delivery you are seeing this the third wave has caught up and the e-commerce websites have actually booked 40% more sales every day all the newspapers and the media outlets are reporting that they are making hay while the sun shines but the point here is this trend is going to continue even after the third wave is over pandemic is becomes an endemic because lifestyle and habits have already started moving or transitioning so the change number 3 is going to be store shopping versus doorstep delivery everything right from medicines to your fmcg fast moving consumer goods to even flower deliveries fruits some kind of uh, decorative items furniture electronics all your consumables are becoming online why that even your personal coaching when it comes to physical fitness when it comes to emotional wellness all of that is now becoming digital doorstep delivery right things are happening do it yourself is the jargon or the keyword today diy right so that's the transition transition number 4 transition number 4 is unbranded marketplace to branded and co-branded marketplace very very quickly we are seeing vanishing of unbranded marketplace everybody even the roadside kirana shop is now getting rebranded is now getting co-branded with somebody i mean 
some days ago or some years ago, we used to see a SIM card selling shop having an Airtel sponsored name board. That was the first of the co-branding. They were sponsoring it and they were putting their name saying Sri Vaishnavi Enterprises at the bottom, but then you see a big Airtel or a Vodafone or a, any other service providers board, right? Or you see Pepsi or Coca-Cola sponsoring refrigerators to keep all the items in the Kirana shop. Co-branding was in the physical space like that, but now you are seeing more and more branded marketplace. Everything has a brand, right from the jute weaver who sells his or her products online has to have a brand and is happy to have a brand. Small brands are coming up left, right and center and that's going to be the next few years and that's going to be the future. So unbranded marketplace is getting transitioned into rebranded or co-branded marketplaces. That's transition number four. Now transition number five is prepaid to postpaid payments. Yeah, pay on delivery, my favorite because I am not going to spend my money till I see the product there, till I see it in front of me and then I'm going to be happily parting away with my money. Postpaid payments are coming in like UPI or other things has made life easier. You bring the product to me within a few seconds, I'm going to transfer the money to you. So that's the new trend. So prepaid days are gone. You must have all experienced that uh, with the RBI guidelines, all your saved credit cards are now suddenly vanished from all the e-commerce sites. You got to key in the number every now and then because that's the transition which is happening from prepaid to postpaid. Postpaid payments are going to be the order of the day going forward. Last and the most important transition which is going to happen or which is already begun is your traditional small traders are going to become digital small traders. I spoke about the Kirana shop. Look at all the small traders. In fact, let me give you an example. We have a fruit seller. We have a cycle repairer in my community. Now what these people are doing, a cycle shop repairing guy, what they do? They wait for you to get their cycle to them and they are going to service it or fix the problem. But now these guys have a particular WhatsApp number WhatsApp for business and you can actually take a picture and send it on that particular number and that guy is going to fix it either virtually or come prepared with the tools and fix it at your doorstep. So traditional small traders are now becoming digital small traders because that's how it is. Your vegetable vendor, you can see if you go to the marketplace, they will be sitting with their carts with all the vegetables assembled, but they will have that phone pay or the UPI scanning code kept in front, digital, right? Your, your domestic helpers, they are asking you to transfer money on their phone pay wallets or your uh, Google pay wallets, right? So these things are going to happen and more and more digital currency will take over. Now, these transitions are all there. We got to understand two things. Why they are happening and they're happening at that pace and two, what can you and I do about these transitions, right? So for that, let's understand why these transitions are happening. Again, I'm going to give you six reasons why these transitions are happening. So reason number one, reason number one why these digital transitions are happening is the scale of digital transformation has taken over for a country like India. Remember 130 billion people here and I mean sorry 130 crore population here and then the kind of digital transformation the subscriptions are increasing and people are flocking into it and again it is fueled by two things one the penetration of internet into our lives and smartphone devices and two demonetization you have not forgotten demonetization and how digital money is taking over physical currency right? The second reason is the commitment of the government, the commitment of the institutions to make this happen. You see all your banks having an app and you can do all transactions just at the click of your button, majority of them, right? Whether it is a public sector bank or a private sector bank or a non-banking financial corporation, whatever it is. So that's the commitment of these institutions and government bodies. Third one is the vibrant market and social needs of the population. 
I'm told that India is only number two when it comes to smartphone penetration in the world. That's the kind of business and that number is going to only grow in the coming two, three, four, five years. So that's the vibrant market we have. Then the open source programming. Everything is available on the internet and some of it or majority of it is available free. So people can download and change the code and program it and give you as a solution and you are happy to consume it. Right? Your meditation apps are the classic example where you can sit and click the button and you can sit and do meditation and these are all available to you. So these are the lifestyle changing things. Then artificial intelligence led innovation. What is that? You have this chat feature in many of these websites. You order a Domino's pizza, you can chat with somebody. Where is it coming from? It's coming from AI led innovation which we call as the chat bot. There's a robo on the other side. It understands what you want and it replies. So there's no person sitting there, but then you get all your answers from them. Then the last one, why this is happening is the participation of the market. India has tremendous domestic demand. And that's why this digital transformation is the need of the hour. Now we've understood the why, what you can do or what I can do. Look at these six transitions. And if you are an entrepreneur, if you are looking at what is the next thing I can do as a passive source of income, what is that I should focus on in upskilling myself? These are the areas where you can look at. I'll give you another example, a case study. The other day when I was on my Insta live on uh, every week, Saturday, seven o'clock Insta live I do on my channel, two people came together and they were talking to me. And one person was from Assam, the northern, northeastern part, and the other guy was from Indore, the central part of India. The indoor guy said that I am looking at going or taking my local Kirana store online. I want to convert my entire transactions online and I am trying to connect with my customers so that they don't have to come to the shop but I can send them the products and they can get a whole service at their doorstep. Now this Assam guy, the guy who came in, his name is Mohit, he came in and he said I am going to create a digital shelf, a digital shelf of all products for every shop roadside because when I went to find one particular brand of milk, I had to go to five stores before I got that brand of milk and I had a guest waiting for me at my house and my mother said go fetch this brand of milk. So what if I had an app where I can see which shop is having this brand of milk and I can straight away go there or even better if I merge with that indoor guy they can do it online. So I know that this shop has an online service. I can connect with them and I get my product. That's how the youth today are thinking. That's where the transition is happening. So these trends will help you make it happen in your life. That's what you and I can do. So the whole idea of bringing this together is not to just sit and enjoy, but to get in and do something about it. Till next time, thank you so much for watching CSK Speaks.